up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new Ronin review, uh, entering into phase three with all kinds of new great stuff. And we wanted to start uh, phase three off with a review with a company that we're a big fan of, uh, that we always partner with. Uh, this time, we are partnering with our buddies at Quamba again. They sent us the Quamba Aegis, or Aegis, depending on how you want to pronounce that, uh, their new bag for fight sticks. Um, and we are gonna take a look at that, break this down, and we're gonna let you know if, the, if this bag is worth the price of $79.99 that you can get from Quamba. So uh, let's, let's start kind of by some aesthetics because the, you know, it's, it's not the most important part, but it's the first thing you see. Okay, so this comes in at 14 inches by eight inches by 20.5 inches. That is the diameter of the Quamba Aegis. Um, it is made out of your typical uh, backpack uh, materials. So it's got a nice rigid shape made out of your typical backpack materials. And uh, one thing to note immediately is it's got the awesome little rubber feet down here that immediately gets it to stand no matter where you are, what situation you're in. However, based on these feet and the dimensions and just the nature of the bag, I would not recommend standing it up without a little bit of support because the things that you have inside of here are very expensive. So standard backpack, you've got two straps here uh, that are very comfortable. Put it on and once you have these on, you've got the part that comes over your sternum, all adjustable, boom, sexy. Now it depends on what bag you've got on it, but it's a very comfortable bag. I like, I, I don't hate the way it feels um, compared to the Guardian bag. Honestly, you know, in terms, the Guardian bag is a bit bigger. It's a slide in bag. You've seen we reviewed that before. This one's a little bit smaller, a little more sleek, um, you know, but it's, it's cool. Uh, one thing to note, because this is the FGC, uh, the material that we do have on here is uh, Perry and kind of sweat resistant, because you're, uh, you're at Evo 2018, uh, those buildings get super hot, so this is really good for that kind of stuff. Uh, your clips down here, they do detach, so you can kind of tuck these bad boys in. If you want to just carry it around by the regular hand, you can do so. Obviously, I prefer them backpack style, um, but that is totally up to you, preferential. Um, so still going around the outside, we've got a uh, nice little nook over here for, I don't know, maybe like your cell phone or whatever. You've got um, a, there's just nooks upon nooks upon nooks on this bag, by the way. Open this up, you've got another one here for, I don't know, a snack, a, an energy bar. Um, then we go down here, you have a nice spot for your water bottle that way you keep yourself hydrated. Um, and then we get to the meat and potatoes of the bag. Now, the biggest difference between this and the Guardian bag is uh, the Guardian bag is a slide-in bag. The Aegis, uh, that's what I call it, the Aegis opens like a suitcase. So, boom, boom, and we'll open it up just like this. And uh, for my example stick, I've got the Quamba Crystal in here. Um, fits like a gem. I would assume since this is Quamba, every Quamba stick is gonna fit. We don't have the Dragon to try that, but uh, based on kind of eyeballing it, the Dragon won 100% fit. But one thing that I think is really cool about this, that uh, it's a small detail, but obviously you've got sticks and the sticks have, you know, sticks. Uh, so how do you protect that? What's the best way? Well, obviously, you know, you could invest in some, uh, one of the devices, the Link, which we also reviewed that you can take that off and. Um, you know, keep that safekeeping. But if you don't want to invest in that and you want to keep it stock or you don't want to have a removable stick, they have invented this neat little thing that comes and goes over your stick for protection. Just like that. Boom, zip up. And as soon as you put your bag away after mopping that Joe Blow in pools, you're on, to the, on your way to top eight. Uh, so it's really cool. Inside the bag, you go back in here, there is not any extra storage space. This is strictly what you see is what you get. So like I said, uh, this is probably big enough to fit all of Quamba's sticks, which means it probably will fit the Dragon uh, to make up for that extra space. There is some room here. Uh, so when you do have your stick in there, it can move around a bit. So I don't know, if depending on what you're doing, if you got like a hoodie or if you pick up an extra shirt, maybe throw it in there just for some extra padding for extra protection. But even if you don't have it, I wouldn't feel super uncomfortable having my stick bounce around in there. It's made for sticks. So you can feel comfortable in that. Let's take a look at some more stuff. The back, uh, a nice little 
Another compartment here that you can stick your laptop, iPad, uh, notebook if you've got uh, stuff written down for labbing, whatever it might be. On the front, by golly, another thing. What would you do with this? Well, here for me, pull it up. I'm waiting for pulls to start. Boom, got my switch. I'll play some Ultra Street Fighter 2. Can't mess with it. And within here, there are more compartments. Standard zippies. You want to blow your nose, keep some Kleenex in there. Uh, tools. tools, fright stick tools, extra buttons, whatever you want. Uh, there's a, just a lot of space on this bag that can be used for a lot of stuff. Um, but one thing that I want to note, because this is Quanva, they are a fight stick company. This is quote unquote a fight stick bag, but guys, it's not tethered to that notion. You could use this as a hiking bag. It's got great durability. Uh, like I said, with the sweat things here, tons of space in there for food, for equipment. You could travel with it. It's a great all around bag. And that's what I like most about it because I go to some tournaments. I'm a very casual player. If I even have time to play at all anymore these days. So for me, while this is a fight stick bag, I would probably use it as a equipment bag for other stuff. Taking my laptop with me to shoots, whatever we're doing. That's probably what I would find this bag most useful for. So don't just think that it's tethered to being a fight stick bag because you can do so much more with it. It is a great versatile backpack. All that said though, this is a fantastic bag for your fight sticks. Uh, this will fit probably almost all of them you can get on the market today, including your old dead Mad Cats TE2s, uh, all obviously all your Quamba products. Uh, a hitbox would fit great in here even though they're smaller sticks so you can include that with the other things. And uh, gosh, would it fit the Razor Panthera? I guess we'll find out when we actually re review that this month for you, so stay tuned there. Um, so conclusion on this, is this worth the $80? I think it actually is. Like That's a pretty deep chunk of change to spend on a backpack, but especially if you're really into your hobby and you're very competitive, this is a great bag. And uh, sure, there might be more rugged bags on the market, but for what this is, and in 2017, this will most certainly be my bag of choice until something better comes along. Uh, so anyway, that is our look at the Quamba Aegis bag uh, from Quamba, $79.99 that you can get from them directly. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take a moment and if you want to be a part of something a little bit bigger than what you are now, join uh, the Ronin 24-7 metagame where you can get your very own avatar, you can join uh, and get XP for all the things you do, and especially when you take this bag to the tournament and you win big, you will level up huge. So check us out at patreon.com slash r24. Check me out on Twitter. Yeah. And um, check out our, our friends Quamba. Uh, you know, link their links are in the description. Uh, great products. We love them. They love us, and we're a big happy family. And sub scribble and press like. You know, it does help. And guys, we will see you next time. And like I mentioned, we are going to do the Razor Panthera. So stop asking. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be good. So you can expect that uh, sometime late August and. I don't know. Gordy, play us out. Do, 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 do. Whack. <laughs> <laughs>